I'll share with you all an incident how this whole technology was revealed to me. This is basically a technology. Breaking your patterns, freeing you from all conditionings. This is basically a technology. In 2003, once one of my disciples was sick in Bangalore, one hospital. I went there to heal that person. She's an elderly lady. She was in ICU. When I was healing her, at that same moment, the next bed, patient. That guy is not a devotee, some patient. He started dying. The death has started happening in him. I was able to see what is happening in him. I saw very beautifully like a knife passing through the butter. His soul was leaving the system without any pain and he became enlightened, completely liberated. I was really shocked. Because earlier, in the young age, I have seen a death where that person literally goes through hell like millions of scorpions biting, the whole skin burning. See, if you inject the scorpion poison into your one pore, that whole area will burn. During the death, same intensity the whole skin will burn. It's almost like a whole skin being injected by the scorpion poison. Scorpion poison has the capacity to disconnect your skin and your awareness. When the disconnection happens forcibly, it will be a torture and pain, suffering. That pain will be there all over the body. That was the way the regular death happens. So I was shocked, how can that guy, how did, why did that guy suffer so much and this guy so smoothly passed away? I investigated whether he is an enlightened being. They said, what enlightenment? He had two wife and three shop, that's all. <laughs> and I asked whether he used to meditate or a disciple of a great Paramahamsa or Avatuta, a great guru. They said, nothing doing, he will not even go to temple. I was shocked. I sat and started contemplating, meditating. How? How did this happen? How did this happen? It was like a revelation. It was like a strong revelation. I could see very clearly even now I am trying to see and repeat exactly as it happened. I could see very clearly. It was due to my presence. See, I am not claiming anything supernatural or extraordinary or all that. I'm just telling you the fact. It was due to my presence, this guy did not go through all that suffering. Then I again started contemplating, wow, if my presence can be helping somebody to have a, such a beautiful death, then I should be sitting only in ICUs. <laughs> now I tell you, you see, anything else anybody can give. There are so many things, even others can give. But this beautiful, painless death, nobody can give. I tell you, that is the greatest gift for human beings. That's the greatest gift for human beings. So I started thinking, how can I reproduce the same experience in human beings in large scale? 
After all, I had a little engineering background, so. <laughs> Anyhow. So the next thought I had was, can I reproduce this to large number of people, the same experience? What was that which is part of my presence, which helped that person to leave the body without pain and suffering? of patterns. Now you need to understand few things. I am giving you the signs of death exactly as it happens. Let me give you more visual reality. Exactly when you leave the body, your individual soul will leave from this one layer to another layer. This is the way it will move. You can see that physical layer Please understand, one thing I wanted you all to know, don't be frightened by the way I am describing it and just understand this is fact and we need to get into it to get out of it. By getting frightened, you are not going to solve the issue and same way by not knowing this fact, you are not going to solve the issue. Your body. From there, your individual consciousness will move to the next layer, the breathing pattern. That was the time your whole skin will release kind of a poison like scorpion venom. The quality of the chemical which will be released by your skin to handle the consciousness separating will be almost like a scorpion venom. So it's like a whole body will be injected by the scorpion venom. If you are bitten by a scorpion, after a few minutes that whole area will become frozen. Have you seen it? It will become like a wood solid. Like a peeling your skin. The separation of your consciousness and the skin starts happening. That's the first step in the death. Then, whole, your whole consciousness gets centered on the breathing. <gasps> that, that's why that um, feeling like asthma or wheezing. When that settles down, your consciousness moves to your mind. Tremendous suffering about you not living your life completely. You not actualizing yourself. But by the time you are medically dead. Only two layers, your body will be active. By the time you go to the mental layer, the third component of you, you will be declared as medically dead, clinically dead by doctors. But after you are declared clinically dead, around 42 minutes you take completely to settle down and take another one body. In that 42 minutes, any engram inside is very strong, can get you back to the life. Those people only we call people who had near death experience. So this, in these seven layers, if you move beyond two layers, you are medically dead, you are declared medically dead, but you are not dead. The third layer you go through, Intense confusion and guilt of not living your life. If you don't actualize yourself, that space will be hell for you. Not living your life. And the fourth layer, etheric body, that is where all the pains are stored, where you see demons and rakshasas, layers. You carry certain patterns and engrams which we need to break and free. If these engrams and patterns are not broken, death is going to be, as I described now, tremendous suffering. If these patterns are broken and destroyed in itself, death is going to be like a butter, the knife moving through the butter. Understand? What 
my presence did to that person the second death the same thing i am reproducing on all of you now itself through this technology through this method so i promise when i say i mean i promise painless death for all of you minds <laughs> got downloaded into my system to help the people to have painless peaceful death and restful awareness in the end of the death that is what we call enlightenment but when i started teaching this science to people i discovered not only the quality of death even the quality of life after this program has started drastically increasing see when you don't have patterns and engrams your life also develops increases the quality that's when i started teaching this program to youngsters i told i started telling a science of death is not for the people only who are about to die it is for the people who are about to live 